Do, 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 do. I'm surprised I haven't cut off my fingers by now. Is this nope. loud enough? Buddy! You can have fun, alright. I mean, talk about fantastic. I'm wearing the socks, the hat, the bow tie. Hello! Look at that guac. Hey, it's Bowtie, and today I'm going to be making some guacamole. Guac, guacamole, come on. But the sad part is, in my last video that I uploaded, I bought avocados, and now I feel like they're a bit too overripe, but, but we'll see. I'll cut them open and see if they're too overripe. I'm not sure because I've never really bought avocados before, and I don't know how long they last, but I know that they spoil really easily. Let's just hope that they didn't. Otherwise, this guac won't be as fire. Speaking of, I have to grab fire sauce. So grab handfuls of fire sauce, because we're eating Taco Bell just like a boss, yeah. Let me just... I've got all the ingredients I need. I've gotten like three avocados that are probably overripe. I've got two tomatoes. Uh, I got one jalapeno, even though it says one and I'm kind of tripling it, sort of. I got cilantro, a lime. This isn't a red onion, I don't believe. I think it's like a regular like yellow onion, but we're just gonna go with an onion. Salt and pepper and garlic powder for taste. And it says three drops of hot sauce, but I got three packets of fire sauce. Now I'm assuming this is pretty much straightforward, so without further ado, I'm gonna get into it. I'm gonna cut up everything, mix it all together, and boom, man, I got myself some fresh guac. But I don't have any chips, so I'm gonna have to go and get some. Let me just take this sticker off real quick. Okay, let's see how, f what the heck? Did I just take a sticker off this one and there's two? Hello? Let me take the other sticker off. So you gotta cut it in half. That is not half, but oh well. Let's see, how do I want to do this? Because last time I cut it up, I put it in my salad, and I kind of just... I guess I'm gonna do that same thing. That's not what I wanted, bro. Well, it's gonna be mashed up anyway, so... You can cut it up for easier, uh, mashing properties, but I'm just gonna plop it in there. I'm already getting messy, and it's only one avocado in. <sighs> yeah, this is why you should cut it up instead of just... get avocado all over your hands. There's skin in there, I don't want that. Help, oh! I can't do avocado by itself! Ah! This is why I'm making guacamole! No, oh, that tasted weird. La, 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 la. I'm gonna need a bigger bowl, I just realized. Bigger bowl has been acquired, let's do the second avocado. Hopefully I actually cut it in half this time. No, it's curving! It's curving, stop! Boom! Smooth, alright, let's, let's cut this one up and see if that affects the uh, ease of getting it out of the skin. You can like cut it into slices and then cut it in halves. I don't know how you actually cut an avocado again. First time buying it, so there's a first time for everything. Yeah, that's much easier, let me just tell you that. I mean, yeah, I'm still getting it on my hands, but what do you expect? What do you expect from me, the king of messes when it comes to food? I'm literally the messiest eater in my entire family. I love how my brother's watching me make guacamole. I am. From the side. Wanna introduce yourself, bud? Oh. Hello. Third avocado, here we go. What do you guys do with the pits? Like, I don't understand what I should do with the pit of an avocado. <laughs> you think I have a green thumb? Well, you technically do right now. <laughs> you think I have a green thumb? I do. That pit is like the biggest one. I know, right? It's like small, medium, large. <laughs> yeah, definitely cut it up, because uh, if you don't cut it up, it's gonna end up just getting everywhere, so. Yeah, definitely cut up your avocado when you want to use it. I don't know what the easiest or best way to cut it up is, but what I'm doing is fairly decent, so must be doing something right. Let's do tomatoes. Okay, how do I go about cutting the tomato, though? Because I want to dice it. Slice and dice! You know what, I'll just slice it and... Okay, this is not cutting the freaking tomato. This knife sucks! <laughs> you know, I think I could have just bought one tomato, because I feel like that's going to be enough, but I don't know. The medium fell down. Yeah. Do I, I, I'm just, whatever. I don't, I don't even care. It's guacamole. It can't be that bad if you throw the whole thing in there. Do, 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 do. I'm surprised I haven't cut off my fingers by now. For what you're doing. That and how clumsy I am, like, <laughs> I have a track record, folks. And it ain't the best, let me tell you that much. You're gonna have to clean that up. Yeah, I know I'm gonna have to clean it up. That's what happens when you make a mess. But you wouldn't know, would you? <laughs> Possibly. Oh, possibly. possibly no. Mm. You're gonna be eating guacamole with me. I don't know if I like guacamole. Yeah, I think I only needed one t one tomato, but oh well. No, okay, let's see. So we've got tomato. Let's do the red onion. I'm gonna need a bigger knife for that. <laughs> How is that? I don't know if this knife is gonna cut through the onion. Hopefully it does. Um, this cutting board is messy, but I don't give a crap. You could have just cleaned it right now. It's a 
Onion. It has layers. Yes, it's like Shrek. Onions are like ogres. They have layers. Yeah, well, cakes have layers. Everybody loves cake. Except for Shrek. That's because Shrek lives in a swamp. 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 Get what are you doing in my swamp? <laughs> Get out me swamp donkey. This is my swamp. You know, I think I have to peel off the skin first. That'd probably be helpful in... Well, you have to peel off the layers too, donkey. All right, um, this is going to be difficult. Yeah, he's kind of uh, an, a yellow onion. Uh, I can't cut anything. It's because onions have layers. Yeah, I know onions have layers. Like ooger. I don't know how to go about do doing this. Like it looks like a weird apple. <laughs> ah, my eyes! I can't see what I'm cutting. And I'm ah, my hand! I cut my hand. I'm, gonna, I'm actually crying though. Like, ow! Are you actually? Yeah, I'm actually. Ow! Oh, my eyes! Why are your eyes watering so much? Cause that's what happens when oh, you cut an onion. You you feel bad for its brethren. What? You're, you're murdering it. You're just like chop chop chop, and then you're like, I'm sorry, I'm killing you. Ow, my they, eyes. They're not alive or have feelings. They are alive, and we're murdering them from taking them out of the ground, cutting them up, and boiling them, and what stewing do you them. What you mean? What do you mean? You know, I don't think I need that much onion. That's good. Yeah. I don't really like onion to begin with. I don't know why I bought the onion. For flavor? Once you got your avocado, tomatoes, and onions cut up, then you can, um... Ooh, I forgot about the cilantro and the, uh... Jalapeno, jalapeno pepper. Mm. Cut it in half. Ooh, the seeds so equals so more hot, so if you want it to be spicy, add the seeds. But um, you're not gonna do that to how, yourself. How do, you, how do you know? You're not gonna do that to yourself. I like spice, okay? Maybe I want to burn my mouth. And you want your eyes to water? Not really, but ooh, it smells good. Mm, it smells like See, food. that's why I like Mexican food so much, because it's full of flavor and spices, and it's like, whoo, yum. It, it gives your mouth a little adventure, you know? What? Your mouth isn't alive. You know what? You're not alive. Is this Calling a simulation? Calling onions not alive. Calling... We are all alive. Is, is this a simulation, then? Am I in a simulation? I'm not sure exactly how to go about the jalapenos, because I... I've never made guac before, so... Yeah, I'm just kind of cutting everything up and putting it together in uh, orderly fashion, so... If you would like to do the same, by all means. But if you want to actually um, know how to make guacamole for real, I don't know why you came to this video, because in this YouTube channel, I kind of just do things out of humor. Like my last two videos. Oh, wow, that smell. Yeah, I know, that That's smell. That's strong. Exactly. That's so strong. Ooh. I'm going to add, I don't know, I'm going to just add the whole thing. It says a whole pepper, so. Yeah, one. And I'm doubling it, or tripling it, or whatever, so. Add other stuff like cilantro and lime, which I'm about to do. Oh, one My hands are messy. Now, after I've washed off the board, it's much easier and I have more surface area to cut on. So, helpful tips wash off your cutting board in the middle of cutting things. So, this video should be like how not to make guacamole, not how to make guacamole. Mm, don't get that in my eye. <laughs> That's not one tea. I'm just. Yeah, it's about a teaspoon. Tablespoon, I mean. It's about a tablespoon, tea. but since I'm um, doubling it, Jeremiah. Times two! Woo! Yum! That smell it smells even better than a lemon. Okay, I bought one too many tomatoes, but that's okay. And now I have cilantro, so it says what? Six cilantro leaves. One, two, three, four, five, six. I, let me just uh, cut it in half. Just No, you're doubling it, so just do uh, all of them. Did you just get do all of them? Yeah. That's a bit much cilantro, Jeremiah. Even just for do me. 12. Since like, I love the smell of cilantro. Do 12 then. <laughs> Because you're doubling it. You know, I might just end up throwing this all in the blender because I can't cut for my life. Yeah, I probably. That's probably. Jeremiah, can you give me the biggest knife you can find? Biggest? Like, like, and like, don't make make sure it's not a bumpy blade, a serrated edge. Make sure it's like a flat edge. This? Yes, like that. That works. This knife right here. Yeah. The big boy. The big boy. <laughs> Your face, the right. big boy. Freaking, I'm trying to do what my boss does at work. Mine's just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't do it. 
Ooh, I love the smell of cilantro. Yeah. You're gonna cut your finger off, and I'm gonna lie. That's just scaring me. Yeah. Don't let bow tie near a knife. Ah, it might be the last thing you see. Mm. I'm getting cilantro everywhere. <laughs> on your pants. On my pants. On my hands. On my life. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't mind if I got it on my life. Hello, I love Oh, smell that also. smell. Ugh. Oh, that smell indeed. Ugh. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna end up putting this all in a blender, even though you're supposed to just mush it up. Actually, you know what? I'll try mushing it up. And if that doesn't work, put it in the blender. That's what a blender is for, choppiness. Okay. Chop penis. <laughs> okay, first I'm gonna mix it up with my hands. Gotta manually do the, yeah, you should've cut out the freaking guacamole or avocado. I keep saying guacamole! Avocado before, that way it's easier. Anyway, you're gonna mix it up with your hands and then regret your decision because now you have to cut it, or I mean mush it. But anyway, it'd be, it's fun. Mix it, mix it, mix it, yay! Okay, now I'm gonna, I really regret this. Don't, don't mix it with your hands. This is how to, <laughs> how not to make guacamole. This is not how you, you make You probably should've washed your hands. I did wash my hands dramatically. Okay, good. But like, if you now I have to wash my hands again. Disgusting. Ah, okay. This is a much better alternative. Maybe. I'm not mashed sure. potato mashing. Yes, use a masher so you can just like mash it all together. And if this doesn't work, just use a blender. Yeah, if this doesn't use work, just use a blender. And if you really want to learn how to make a uh, how, how to make guac, then just go on Google and look up a video that isn't this one. Because in this video, <laughs> this is not how you make guacamole. It's how yeah. you get messy with guacamole. Yeah, it's how you get messy while making guacamole. This is how to make the biggest mess possible. Because I am the messiest Whoa. person that you will meet. Again, like I said earlier in this video. I'm the messiest human being that you will meet when it comes to food. Actually, pretty much anything because I'm just so clumsy and careless when it comes to what I'm doing. Woo! Oh, hard. that sound. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You coughed when you smelt it. Oh my gosh. Mm. Mm -hmm. Get a close up on that, Jeremiah. Ooh. Oh, Look at yeah. that. Like, shh. ASMR. Oh, that's, that's weird. Yeah. That's a weird sound. It's a good sound. Like, like, like just gonna. What yeah. The, what the? ASMR. <laughs> ASMR is getting chased. Guac guacamole ASMR is life. Like, yes, please. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Maybe I should make an ASMR video eating my guac and chips. Like, let me just go do that really quick. <laughs> teaspoon, tablespoon, I don't know. Yeah, it's just teaspoon. one gigantic tea. So not a gigantic and uppercase, not gigantic, what? So you've got your... I'll cut up the tomatoes first. Actually, you know what? All right, so I'll get the... Why can't I be decisive and choose what I'm going to cut up? Guess what? I made Shrek in my game. Oh, really? Yeah. What game? It's a wrestling game. Oh, okay. Then. WWE 2K16. I have all my fingers, then I can chop, chop, chop. Chop, chop, chop. Chop, chop, chop. 